On our part, the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture will sustain its efforts at evolving industry-friendly policies that will guarantee that tourism and tourism-related businesses strive in Nigeria. Government is putting in place policies that will create an enabling environment for investment and businesses in the hospitality and tourism industry to develop in line with the emerging global trends. However, such policies must go through legislative processes, which we all know are cumbersome and slow. When these policies become legislative acts, I am sure operators in this service industry will see enhanced tourism activities which will in turn increase competitiveness in the industry. Every year we come and sit down, legislation, legislation, legislation. There is no legislation anywhere. We need to sit down at a high council level. Every governor knows that if tourism is working, employment problem will be overcoming the state. So why are we pretending? Because nobody wants to say it as it is. Everybody is afraid to come out to offend the other. Please, let's take note of this. This sector is suffering. Other clients of the world, they have tourism police. The only cultural market, Nigeria is the only country in the whole of West Africa that don't have a cultural market. If we are not ready to challenge others that this is the sector that will save us, then we have not started yet. So my appeal to all of us is that I rather put one word today. Let all of us leave this hall with it. Oil is good. Oil will finish. But culture and tourism will remain and is sustainable. 